Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, or whatever time it may be in your part of the world. My name is Mr. John Wayne, and I am a variety gamer. I play everything from the Fallout franchise all the way to the Soulsborne series. Welcome, everybody, to another episode of my 100% walkthrough of Fallout 4. I hope you're all doing well. I know that I am. And today, we're going to be making our way to the USS Constitution. But before we do... I did go ahead and level up twice. I was building on Sanctuary some more and uh, Fort Strong or Independence, whatever you want to call it. Not Fort Strong. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Fort Independence or the castle. <laughs> I don't know why I said Fort Strong. We are going to go there, but that's not what I was building up. Anyhow, with all that being said, let's go ahead and put a few levels in and then start making our way to the USS Constitution. Go into our pit boy and then I'm going to come over here to bloody mess, put two levels into bloody mess and then two more levels and we'll start working on either toughness, which I would like to work on toughness and then I would like to start working on science next. Maybe get two points into science maybe three or four maybe maybe we'll max out science we'll max out science after toughness and then really we don't have anything else we need to um really put anything into maybe medic and the rest will start working on the main stats we'll max those out hopefully by the end of the walkthrough All right, let's go ahead and start making our way to the USS Constitution. We're going to head south. We're going to take a left right here by this bridge. Pull out our gun. We're going to need it. We're going to stop off in the Charlestown, the Charlestown, oh my goodness, the Charlestown Laundry. Holy shit, that was hard for me to say. We're going to pick up the La Cafe. Excellent. This is going to be another magazine that gives us a unique hairstyle. Oh man, I love comics. Scanning. Scanning. Accessing pre-war records. Record found. 108th Infantry Regiment, 2nd Battalion. Ahoy there. Tis Providence a member of the Congressional Army is delivered to us in our hour of need. I was in the Army, but what's the Congressional Army? Standing orders, sir. Proclamation 3. All members of the U.S. Army are hereby members... Of the Congressional Army. The captain requests your presence on the bridge. At the double quick, sir. Let's go up top here. By the way, I did get the trophy for getting to level 50. Just to give everybody a heads up. We're going to go up top here. We're gonna go inside here. This is the captain no speaking. Absolutely. We're taking on an Allied soldier. Oh, Clear the first. Well. Disable the fences. Make way. Midshipmen, stand down. Warning. Stand down, Overdue for maintenance. Identified. Intruder. Intruder. Mr. First Mate, this is the captain. This soldier is no intruder. Requesting permission to use lethal force. Try that. 
And you'll be nothing but scrap metal, pal. Give a word, Captain, and I'll send them to Davy Jones' locker. <laughs> uh, is this for real? Threat detected. Awaiting permission to terminate target. Stand down! That's an order! And for God's sake, use the accent! I, Captain, standing down. Let's go to the top deck. Well, any landing you can walk away from. This would be a great spot to bunker down. Captain Ironsides. I'll have none of your lip, Mr. Navigator. Have the crow's nest scan two points off the port bow. Jump to it. Aye, Captain. Our soldier has arrived. I trust the first mate didn't give you too hard a time. Been too long since we've seen the Congressional Army. First mate, Congressional Army? Why are you talking like that? This is the pride of our Navy, the USS Constitution. As her commander, it is my privilege to enforce a certain measure of decorum amongst my crew. Why are you even here, on this ship? It's ancient. This vessel has more than once been the seat of our great nation's naval power. Is it not fitting she don this mantle again? And you're in charge here? What? As ordained by the chain of command, the links of which start with our most august admirals and plummet to the lowliest of sentry bots. After all our brothers in arms perished, I reluctantly assumed command. Your lookout told me to come up here. Why? I confess, we need your assistance. You visit this fine vessel in trying times. He calmed these long years on her airy perch. Damn you, Weatherby Savings alone! I spit at you. How did it even get up here? Oh, this should be good. A harrowing tale of that, there can be no doubt. Or I should say, I assume it is. I came upon her as she is, atop the Sargasso Sea of rubble and misfortune. What vexes me most is my inability to assist in the war effort. My gun decks have not but more rats and ne'er-do-wells as targets. Enough pleasantries. The Constitution has systems that need repairs to carry out its mission. If I help you, I expect part of the payment up front. What a singular request. Were you in the Navy, I would remind you of your oath. But as a soldier, I will authorize a performance bonus payable immediately. Consult with the ship's purser. Consult with the bosun and Mr. Navigator. They will relay your instructions. Dismissed. Look lively, lads. Scavengers approach. Soldier, man the cannons. Kill them only as a last resort. A few... The cannons are ready. Fire at will. <coughs> with everything we got. The cannons are actually really cool to use. I'm going to go ahead and use them if uh, Ironsides will get out of the way. Broadside them, soldier! Warning. Hostiles in area. With heavy circuit boards, I proclaim this victory. And Where are the guys? Show them what we're made of. Wow, I missed every yeah. shot. I was just starting to have fun. They've struck their colors. Well done, men. We're going to go downstairs, talk to the navigator and bosun. So bosun should be right here. We're going to have to go downstairs and talk to the navigator real quick. Patrolling. I think he's down one more level. He is. Warning. Overdue for maintenance. Ahoy, soldier. 
Scavenger threat eliminated. Damage assessment will commence after this unit has completed scheduled duties. Why did the scavengers attack? Scavengers have attacked ship 17 times. Destroyed 13% of ship's systems. Stole 5% of ship's store. Logic error. Captain's orders authorize scavenger termination only if necessary to preserve the ship. If they've attacked you 17 times, why don't you fight back? This unit suggests Captain's core processes in need of extensive maintenance. Guidance system offline. Multiple errors diagnosed. First error. Guidance chip stolen. This unit requires its return. Who stole your guidance chip? Guidance chip is one entry on the list of stolen items. Reclaim chip at Scavenger's forward recon station. Captain has approved a bounty for its return. Lethal force is prohibited, unless absolutely necessary. Aft dinghy unlocked and available for your use, sir. We will get the navigation chip in just a moment. First, we're going to go talk to Bozen and help him out. just interject as you put it indeed i do i exclaim from exuberance and not because i've been reprogrammed five times to wholeheartedly embrace these marvelous turns of phrase and, and acronyms my metal heart burns with a fierce love and affection for our captain huzzah why were you reprogrammed was the captain involved i will confide this only it's a cautionary tale the captain requires all crew to speak in the proper idiom. We are the inheritors of a sacred tradition. There was a time I thought he was, well, balmy. But with my new programming, I see his incalculable wisdom. Our last marine expedition valiantly returned with much needed supplies, including replacement power cables, sir. Alas, with my severe lack of appendages, I find myself I'm equal to the task of repairing the cables myself. Can't someone else repair it? The rest of this crew is programmed for more martial pursuits. And they are, dare I say, useless in this endeavor. Oh, were I hale and hearty. But fate is a cruel mistress. I'll get right on it. My anxiety emulators are lightning by the microsecond. Once you have resolved this matter, I beseech you to return to me to accept my undying gratitude. So if you want, you can grab the new power cables and you can install them in each of these um, outlets. But what I'm going to do is jerry-rig them. You only need three intelligence to do this. Pop down right here. And the last one is right here. Oh, we got to go across the way. The Constitution. Let's go talk to Bozen again. Bosun. How? Course is through the Constitution's veins. Again! Her systems, long starved, flick out to life. <laughs> A hearty congratulation. Huzzah! However, this has brought to light further failures in our power grid. The power relay 
to my shame. I previously complained about his fluctuating wildly. Why are you ashamed of that? Back for Marelsa, there were dark times. When I made all manner of baseless complaints against the captain, the manner in which his ship is run, and the plausibility of our sacred mission. But now, I see the error of my ways. And with your help, perhaps I can atone. Power relay coils are a common enough part. Might I recommend checking the local shopkeeps? Surely, they would be of some assistance. Fair winds and following seas. So if you want, you can go over to Bunker Hill and pick up the power coils. Morning. But you really don't need to as long as you got enough intelligence. You need at least five intelligence to repair the damaged coil. Power flow. Bosun. Power flows far and steady. I would applaud you. But alas, I cannot due to my lack of clapping instruments. But huzzah, sir. Huzzah. So no more problems with the power? Area one. It flows like a veritable torrent through our cables. If I may say so, the surgeon would be proud. I require no further assistance. But our Mr. Navigator is also beset by troubles. Scuttle buddies, our guidance system is on our last legs. If you've not already, speak to him. Fare thee well. Now we'll exit out of the USS Morning. Constitution. For maintenance. I always get turned around in this place. It's like a maze. Even though it's really not, but it kind of feels like it. Current speed, zero knots. Any landing you can walk away from. We're going to go talk to the scavengers. We're going to act like we're going to help them, but we're really not going to. Because no matter if we help them or not, they're going to betray us. And, God, they love giving me harpoon guns, I tell you what. Um, they're going to betray us, so there's no sense in helping them. Right here's the scavengers. Excuse me. Don't shoot. Those assholes didn't attack the ship on our orders. They weren't trying to frag you anyhow. They just wanted to kill the frickin' robots. So they were scavengers, but not with you. Well, they were kind of with us. I mean, we're not really used to working together. It's not like anyone is in charge. But we do have an agreement. Everyone works together, gets an equal share. When you waltzed aboard the ship, those assholes just kind of lost it. They broke our agreement and paid for it. How did you get aboard anyway? We thought you were going to get cratered for sure. He knew I was an army veteran, so he let me on the ship. Army? Isn't that some old world mumbo jumbo? Whatever. So you got to see the inside, huh? All that salvage, the real mother load, just waiting to be stripped and sold. Is all the junk inside really that valuable? Well, yeah, we could keep Diamond City in parts for months with all them gizmos. We'd never have to scrounge in the gutter again. So you talked with a tin can. What'd he have to say? Ironside says you stole a guidance chip. He wants it back. His guidance chip, right. You know what he needs it for? His rockets. The huge goddamn rockets on the side of his boat. He's nuts. Rockets? Why is he building rockets? Who knows? Maybe a bomb. Maybe he'll launch himself into space. Who cares? It's valuable as hell. That's what matters. Screw that robot and come work with us. There's dozens more of us nearby. It's only a matter of time before we come out on top. <laughs> 
I'm not splitting my share with him. You holding out on us, Davies? You got some magical way in there? This guy's got a free ticket aboard, so shut up. Help us destroy that freaking tin can once and for all. Yeah, I'm in. What's the plan? Yeah, that ship is basically the last train to Crazy Town. That's the right call. I've been working this claim for months. Like hell, I'm letting this greenhorn take any of my caps. We got no choice. We need him, Davies. We need to sabotage those rockets. If they blow up, that'll put those frigging cannons offline. So if you find any rocket parts for the tin can, give them to me first. Then Davies will make some special improvements. Sounds good. I'll see you soon, then. The guidance chip is in one of the filing cabinets inside. You better not renege on our deal. I don't have time for the likes of you. Once we get on that ship, we're set for life. Grab the Those guidance chip, and then we're going to head back over to the USS Constitution. We'll take the dinghy up. It can be a bit buggy. I don't know why it's so buggy, but it is. It's funny. I'm like, oh, it can be buggy, and then it does not bug out on me. <laughs> Just my luck. Let's talk to the navigator. Hey, navigator. Dispensing bounty. Diagnostics report. One error remaining. Guidance radar's transmitter is non-functional. Requires replacement. What's wrong with the transmitter? Diagnostic inconclusive. No functioning Mr. Handy's available for detailed analysis. Acquire Poseidon radar transmitter at specified map coordinates. Further bounty will be dispensed upon completion, sir. If you want to, you can go over to the Poseidon um, well. plant, but we don't need to. As long as you have nine intelligence, you can repair this transmitter. Now, that's very high. It's one below um, max. So if you don't have that, you're going to have to go over to the Poseidon plant. Mr. Navigator. Ahoy, soldier. Guidance system fully functioning. Bounty dispensed. It is required. You commence dialogue with the captain, sir. Defending the Constitution. You've been of service to our noble vessel. I am pleased you recovered the guidance chip without bloodshed. Though the scavengers have caused us grievous injury, our goals must be nobler than base revenge. Why did you want me to spare the scavengers? I confess they are a blight upon my existence. Those scallywags killed many of my marines. We're down to a skeleton crew due to that filth. But they are citizens of the Commonwealth. Citizens we're pledged to protect against foreign incursion. Which is not without its irony. I find I must reward your considerable efforts with the final labor. We stand but a hair's breadth away from embarking on our sacred mission. So now can you tell me what's going on? Complete this task and I will gladly relate our mission. Until then, silence, vigilance. The ship requires turbo pump bearings from a nearby factory. It will undoubtedly be a dangerous mission, but I have faith you will succeed. We're going to have to go over to the Corvega power plant. So let's go ahead and fast travel over there. I have no clue why I called it a Corvega power plant. It's a Corvega assembly plant. Should be extremely easy to take out all the raiders over here. 
very low level. about the ones up top. Let's go inside the Corvega assembly plant. I'm gonna disarm all that stuff. stuff anymore shot her in the butt cheek mm. that's how we do things around here let's just keep moving up Just one shot in these poor oh. bastards. Go ahead and scoop up the turbo pump bearings. A couple more raiders to kill and then we can head out the door. Let's exit out to the Commonwealth. We're going to go inside our pit boy and go back over to the USS Constitution. Any landing you can walk away from. Let's take the dinghy back up. Thankfully, it's not being buggy. All is well. It is an honor to crew such a story vessel. We're going to come over here and get ourselves a U.S. Covert Operations Manual. Nice. And then we're going to install the turbo pump bearings. Let's return to Ironsides. Any landing you can walk away from. There's gotta be something valuable inside to justify. Hey Captain. Shim the power on the starboard bow. Steady as she goes, Mr. Navigator. Luck willing at long last we'll set sail. And our hero of the hour is to thank. You've earned a double share, sir. Well done. Set sail? On the eve of our voyage, the need for secrecy. Is long past. Our twin NX-42 rockets will alight and then moor us from this dreaded savings and loan. The Constitution will launch into the heavens and after, gently land in the ocean. 
then we take our rightful place as defenders of the Atlantic. That's ambitious. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Mr. Navigator, put her through her paces. We need to... Those motherless colors! Our opponents have struck their colors. Leave the ship. <laughs> oh, that hurt. That was two rockets. There's a lot of scavengers that we gotta take out. get a clear shot on there make sure that you do not shoot the robots or they are going to get hostile towards you or become hostile towards you not get hostile i don't know i don't know what i'm talking about anymore don't mind me Captain Ironsides. Gods be good, the scavenger assault has been broken. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Gods be good, the scavenger assault has been broken. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. All hands, prepare ship for launch. Okay, you gonna talk to me? It's being weird. Hey, Captain. Gods be good, the scavenger assault has been broken. Not one of those scallywags stepped foot on our vessel. All hands, prepare ship for launch. You're still going through with this? Given time, the scavengers will regroup. It may be now or never. We need power from the auxiliary generator to commence our voyage. I fear I must call upon you one last time. Consider it done. I admire your pluck. Here is your amply deserved reward. Godspeed to you, sir. We're going to take the dinghy down. The broadsider is a really cool, unique weapon. It shoots cannonballs. It's kind of like the junk jet, except hits a whole lot harder. We're going to go inside here, go up the stairs, just keep going up, up one more time. Two. 
It's really cool. I always love watching this. Go ahead and go to our map. We're going to go to Thaniel Hall and then we're going to go up to the USS Constitution. Be super careful. Tons of super mutants. One with the rocket launcher, too. Oh my goodness. Keep taking rockets to the face, yo. Just gonna go around Finial Hall here. Just head northeast. And then right here where this yellow bus is, we're gonna go inside it. And then go up this elevator. Go up the stairs, and there's one more elevator right here, and this is going to take us to the USS Constitution. Talk to Captain Ironsides. He's going to give us a room here. And he's also going to give us a captain's hat. Or lieutenant's hat. Something like that. Hey, Captain. Our hero returns. What a glorious success. True, the mission is not quite complete. But one cannot deny our progress. Hey. I'm sure everyone in the Commonwealth could see your maiden voyage. To be certain. And our rockets gave our enemies much to consider. I wager at this rate we should land in the ocean in one, perhaps two more launches. My circuits tremble with excitement. I'm glad I could help out. You are instrumental, sir. A veritable godsend. In recognition of your courageous role in this, I hereby promote you to the role of honorary lieutenant. And being that I, well cannot actually fit below decks. I hereby give you the captain's quarters as well. Three cheers for our new lieutenant. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Okay, now that we finished that up, let's go ahead and go over to Cambridge Police Station. Oh, great. The Brotherhood of Steel. As if the day couldn't get any better. We're going to go ahead and send McCready back to Sanctuary. Hey. What do you want? Hey there. Here's that ammo. I think we need some time away from each other. Okay. Uh, I'll head back and wait for you. Take care of yourself. And then right here is where we're going to end the video. Alrighty, everyone. I want to start by telling you all thank you so very much for stopping by and watching the video. It really does mean the world to me. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. 
If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Let me know why down in the comments below. It only helps the channel. Also, if you enjoy content just like this, be sure to subscribe or don't. I don't know. I'm not your dad. Do whatever you want. And like always, everybody, have a good morning, a good afternoon, or a good night. Whatever time it may be in your part of the world, Mr. John Wayne, signing off.